Hey guys, it's me, Jared, and our newest housemate, Willow. She's over here hanging out with me. So I just wanted to uh, share a story and kind of get some, mm, some frustrating thoughts out of the way. I had posted on this Instagram post yesterday, well, I had commented on it, and it showed a quick video, just a few seconds, of these different uh, fires, little mini bonfires that um, were kind of lined up and then it had a woman with a bag holding the bag and she was uh, kind of like feeding the fires as she walked and at the very end it had two girls at the end who were kind of like excitedly gathering around them and then they kind of were running through the flames and kind of jumping through them and, and holding hands as they kind of ran through each of the different fires and stuff and I thought it was cool my verbiage was in the comment um, what in the world is this? Um, I read it that way. What in the world is this? And I was met with a response uh, with the name of it, which I will post in the comments uh, because it's, a, it's a, a foreign fire festival and I wasn't familiar with it. The person mistook my verbiage, which I didn't understand at the time. It was later explained, but he thought I was degrading it for some reason with the verbiage what in the world is this and so he came back and said here's the name of it google it I, I, so I did I went to google and I thought well geez that seems kind of grouchy but you can never tell how people mean things and then so I went and googled it and found out that it was this uh, fire festival that was celebrated in different parts of the world and I thought it was pretty cool when I went back to his post to say, oh, I read about it, it sounds really amazing, thank you for sharing, you know, something along those lines, and he said to me, you um, are not the only country in the world just because you're the biggest. Not everybody celebrates their country by mass shootings and murders and going around killing everyone. I was shaking, I was like ready to cry, I didn't know, I was like, what in the world? I spend my life trying to spread love. I vote against, uh, you know, certain things. I, I try to uh, vouch for good ideas with gun control and safety and keeping our kids safe and keeping ourselves safe. And it's frustrating to think that across the world, people think of us as murderers and that we just don't care about our children. I, bl I stopped following him. I actually blocked him at first. And then I went back and unblocked him. And then I was like, uh, just leave it alone. You know, I was angry. I was upset. I was confused. I didn't want to be associated with things having to do with gun violence because I asked about this post, this tradition that his country had and trying to educate myself. And he's yelling at me that I should educate myself and stop shooting people. And I didn't, I didn't get it. I didn't know where it was coming from. Fast forward to today. <clears throat> I had posted a picture that I found online of the festival with the definition that I found on Google of the festival, including the name, the different versions, and the different things that people call it across the world to educate other people. You know, maybe they were interested too. I said, you know, I got scolded when I asked about this, which was kind of shocking, but I think it looks very interesting. <clears throat> and it celebrates the beginning of the new year for them which for them is the, you know, the first day of spring. And I thought that was great. I think that's wonderful that, you know, I travel the world to try and learn about other people's cultures. But I also was so angry and I wanted to like get back at this guy and I wanted to blast him and point it out. And when he commented, oh, you know, I posted on my post that I misunderstood. And when you say what in the world this is, um, it, it could mean different things. And uh, I'm sorry and I love you and have a great day. And I wanted to say, I wanted to say a lot of things. <laughs> I wanted him to know how bad he hurt my feelings. I wanted him to know that even in a misunderstanding, you shouldn't challenge someone and tell them that they're associated with gun violence and murdering children because you misunderstood what they said because they asked about a post. Um, <clears throat> what I said instead, I typed it out and then before hitting post, I deleted it and went back to just saying thank you for the explanation and I left it at that. But I think sometimes it's hard to do that. Sometimes it is hard to but would I have been any better had I reacted the way he reacted to me out of anger and frustration because of his misunderstanding? 
I don't think I would have felt any better. Um, but I think that's part of a lesson too, right? When we're trying to come together from different viewpoints. What's funny is I think he's got the same viewpoint of love and acceptance and we shouldn't be hurting each other as I do and celebrating nature in a new year and a new world. Um, but I think tensions run high right now when people see different countries doing things differently. Um, and I think we all need to take a second and delete, you know, the hatred from our thoughts and from our comments. It's not doing any good. Try to lead with love, you know, be that love that we need. So that's my thought for today. Uh, it's probably a little heavy, uh, but I thought I'd come out into the sunroom in Denver. I'm going to go explore the city. I hope everybody does the same. Go explore your city, find something new, and share it. Uh, today is also March 21st. It's uh, the World uh, Down Syndrome Awareness Day, so we are wearing wild socks as a fun way to recognize that. I've got on some green bubble socks. I'm sure the people outside in traffic are loving me lifting my feet up, but I hope you guys are doing great. Have fun and uh, be the love that we need. I'm Jared G, big chubby unicorn bear, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.